uh, celebration of life. We realize that most of you would have been one or two years old when 9-11 occurred, but it was a huge time in our country and our life. We want to honor and cherish the, the folks that gave their life that day. So if you please join us for this, this ceremony, I'd like, it's my honor and privilege to introduce uh, Colonel uh, Miller, the commanding officer of our ROTC here at Winter Park High School. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Buena Park High School students, faculty, and staff, I would like to welcome you this morning to the patriotic event commemorating the events of September 11, 2001. Please remain quiet as our cadet wing commander, Juan Sandoval, readies the formation for the presentation of the colors by the Buena Park High School Air Force JRTC Color Guard, and the Buena Park High School Band plays the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, again, good morning to you all. I would like to recount the events of 9-11 and bring it to the fore of your memory, especially for those of you millennial generation that did not witness it firsthand or were too young to remember. On the morning of September 11, 2001, terrorists from the extremist group Al-Qaeda hijacked four commercial airlines, crashing two into the Twin Towers in New York City and a third into the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia. After learning about the other attacks, passengers on the fourth plane, United Airlines Flight 93, launched a counteroffensive, and the plane crashed in an empty field in western Pennsylvania. The 9-11 attacks killed 2,977 people from more than 90 nations. More than 400 were first responders from our police and fire departments who died performing their duties. 
Today, we remember and honor the thousands of innocent men, women, and children who died. We respect places made sacred through tragic loss, and we recognize the endurance of those who survived, the courage who risked their lives to save others, and the compassion of all who supported us. Many individuals and organizations responded to 9-11 with service and volunteer effort supporting the philanthropic wishes and interests of those killed. September 11th is now recognized as a national day of service and remembrance, and all across our nation, our national flag is lowered to half staff. May the lives remembered, the deeds recognized, and the spirit reawakened be eternal beacons which reaffirm respect for life strengthen our resolve to preserve freedom and inspire an end to hatred, ignorance, and intolerance. As a tribute to all who perished on that day, that fateful day 13 years ago, the Buena Park High School Chamber Choir will sing God Bless America in their honor. I would like to now introduce Master Sergeant Mike Stanton for the Remembrance Ceremony commemorating 9-11. It's traditional during any type of remembrance when we have severe loss of life that we do a presentation to the TAPS. A presentation to the TAPS is for the following victims. The victims of the World Trade Center. I remember sitting on the couch watching some jumping 100 stories down because they were burning to death. Remember. The victims of the Pentagon, a government facility attacked, seems vulnerable, a symbol of American strength. Remember. The victims of American Airline flights 111, 175, 77, and 93. Children, family, killed. Heroes took action so that more Americans, more individuals in our nation would not die. Military members who have died during the war on terrorism that continues today. Have you watched the news today about Syria and Iraq? Remember, the families of fallen loved ones who still mourn today, innocent generations vanished, 
never coming home again to their families. I would now like to call up the band members playing the taps. Can we please have a moment of silence as taps begins? May taps please begin. The will recognize that it also would not be improper not to recognize and remember the fallen first responders, police, firemen, medics. Many are still suffering from medical problems due to the smoke and are still dying today. Today is a somber moment. Many say it was the worst attack on American soil even worse than Pearl Harbor. It's a reminder of just how valuable life is. You see, it's a reminder that life can be taken away at any moment, unannounced. So I ask all of you out there, adults, teenagers, if your life ended at this moment, right now, Would you be proud of your efforts? Would you be proud of your grades, yourself, what you represent for your school, your families, your community? Life needs to be cherished every single second. That's why we have you here today remembering this. Anyone who is alive today, it's a blessing. You are a miracle. You have a responsibility to find your calling, to find your special gift, and to become someone special that represents yourself, your families, your school and community. But most important, think about the generations that you will be letting down, the people who have constantly lost their lives for your freedom, if you do not fulfill your obligation. Yes your obligation to be your best every single moment. I thank you, everybody here, for coming to the ceremony. We are a blessing. We are a miracle. And I ask that may God, yes, God, always bless the United States of America. Students, this concludes the ceremony. Could you please report directly, yes please, directly to your first period class.